people often ask me how I stay fit or how I try to stay fit as a 55 year old man on the road all the time. Well, there's a couple of answers really. If you're in, in America, you probably get the concept of Planet Fitness where you can use any fitness in the United States or probably Canada. In Europe, that's a bit different. We have chains, but they don't cover the whole of Europe. So I have a couple of chains. I've got a couple of memberships. So that I'm covered for most of France, Spain, Germany, the Benelux countries. But I'm moving up to Scandinavia and I haven't got anything there. Now, I don't know what happened in the 90s or in the 2000s or whatever, but city councils decided to offer um, outdoor space, fitness space, uh, workout space to their inhabitants. So everywhere I've... Well, there's a bee there. Everywhere I go, there usually is a place that I can work out at outdoors if the weather permits. And today the weather permits. And have a look at this. I mean... No fitness studio can compete with this, can they? Got the swans there, the lake. I've got the fitness area over there, totally empty. Nobody's using it. So today I thought I'd show you my fitness routine. I don't really have a routine, let's be honest, because I'm always in different places with different weights, different machines, different everything. So I try to do a full body workout when I can, you know, legs, chest back and you know the arms will follow so not really a routine just try to stay mobile keep moving keep active basically that's my my um that's my motto uh, and i think in the end it's always consistency that beats everything isn't it if you do something on a consistent basis even if it's low impact it'll have some benefits to you and your health and to, to your muscles as well so i'm gonna uh, head over onto the uh, the fitness area and i'll do a little voice over because i'm not talking while i uh work do the workout but um i'll let you see um what i do at this particular location and uh, if you've got questions about it then feel free to put them in the comment section and if you want a more elaborate uh, fitness routine or workout plan or a diet plan then uh, let me know as well and I'll get that organized for you in one of my next videos because if the weather stays like this it is summer after all then I think we can use a lot of outdoor spaces and um, enjoy keep moving and stay fit I hope you enjoyed the video it's my life. I start every workout with a proper warm-up because uh, these old muscles and bones need to be warmed up before I even start uh, lifting weights. I usually take about 10 to 15 minutes to do light exercise on a bike or on a rowing machine. Here I had an elliptical bike which is perfect because not only does it warm up your legs as you can see, but it also has the ability to warm up the upper body by doing this uh, skiing movement. Like I said, 10 to 15 minutes should get your heart rate up a bit and will get you ready for the workout that is to come. There are three major muscle groups that I tend to work out every time. Chest, back and legs. I usually start with uh, chest because that's the one I like the most and I end with legs because that's the one I hate the most. You can't go wrong with the classic push-up or any variation thereof. Here I do an incline push-up 
which is uh, a bit more difficult than a normal uh, floor push-up. But uh, it uh, targets the upper chest more and also, as you can see, it stretches the triceps. I was lucky enough to have this machine in my outdoor gym, which is a perfect substitute for the classic bench press that we all love and know. It uh, targets the upper, middle and lower pectoral, so in that respect it's perfect uh, chest exercise. I tend to do three sets of anywhere between 10 and 15 repetitions, but that is an individual choice. I don't think I really want to push my body to the limit anymore where, you know, you went, you went down to like extreme heavy weights uh, in only seven repetitions. I try to stay moderate weight around the 10 and 15 rep range. And since I'm not planning on doing any bodybuilding competitions, I take my time for my workouts, which means lots of uh, small pauses and little breaks in between and lots of fluids and lots of water to never dehydrate. On to my second uh, favorite body part, which is my back. Um, I'd like to have a big broad back, so I like to do exercises for my uh, back. Uh, the classic, of course, is the pull-up and uh, it is the most difficult, so you start with one, one day and then you gradually work up till 10 pull-ups, uh, your own body weight, which makes it much more difficult. But try it, it's fun. And once you've reached that uh, number of the first 10 pull-ups without any help, you feel so much better. You will feel like you've accomplished something. Now, this machine is an uh, alternative to the rowing machine. Again, you use your own body weight. And as you can see, you pull up by your back, back muscles. And you will see in a minute that I will also change the positions of my hands, which then will make it more of a bicep curl, which is basically two for the price of one. And for all these exercises, I tend to stay in the three sets of 10 to 15 repetitions. Uh, I think that works better for a, an older body, let's call it that way, although I think that's maybe putting it a, a bit negatively. But you know, for people who don't work out that much or that intensely anymore, I think a higher rep range makes much more sense. And like I said, then the leg part, leg day, is not my favorite day at the gym or in life, but we still need to do it because, let's be honest, we stand on our two feet every day. So these, uh, these little gems have to be trained as well uh, because they need to stay active throughout your life. Um, I start with a slight uh, squatting exercise here, which actually stretches the muscles. And then we do a regular squat, again, 10 times, so that you can uh, loosen up the quads and the hamstrings before starting a proper exercise.
Now I chose the next uh, leg exercise, the step up, especially because it's an all-rounder, it builds the quads and the hamstrings, but as you can see, it has a lot of emphasis on the gluteus maximus, your ass muscle. And to be honest, as a van lifer, I drive a lot and I sit on my damn ass a lot. So this exercise works the glute muscles um, the most. I've been sitting on my damn butt every day for hours on end. I think this is the best uh, exercise to also get that muscle working and, and all limbered up. And I can't stress this enough, but we're not in it for a competition. We're in it for some fun and for some body activity. So, you know, take your breaks, take time to have a drink, to sip a bit of water or some electrolyte drink. Just take it easy and, you know, live in the moment. And this machine, this leg machine, mimics the classic squat rack, I guess, the most. And uh, you can do squats using your own body weight. So um, it'll work your hamstrings, so that will give you that broader look uh, that people want, that teardrop look, if you really desired it. Again, um, I stay in the 10 to 15 range and not trying to overdo it just paying attention to a correct movement and watching those <laughs> joints and those knees, of course, not to overdo it. And after a little break and some water, uh, it's time for a five minute cool down. <laughs> that just means me lying down and relaxing and uh, stretching out the muscles and the limbs, just, uh, you know, breathing in and out and taking, you know, a moment to thank yourself for what you've just done, accomplished. So after a good workout, I guess uh, you deserve a really nice shower, but uh, since I'm out in the open, there is no shower. But there's a lake out there and I, I'm going to try it. Um, so I'm a bit of a chicken shit, so I'm not going to jump in there and do like a, a Salto Mortale or something like that. I'm just going to dip my toes in and see what it's like and then we'll take it from there.
And for those who have followed my channel for a while now, they know that I might look all chill and relaxed from the outside, but inside, inside my head, it is quite a turmoil, it's quite busy in there. So after a workout, I try to invest some more time in myself and into my breathing. Now, I'm not claiming I'm a yoga expert or anything of the like. I am trying to live in the moment to be mindful of what I'm doing. And at the end of a workout, after a relaxing shower or bath in this case, I try and stretch the muscles, feel every fiber and try and relax. After that, it's all about the breathing, trying to concentrate on correct breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth to get that relaxing feeling. I also try some yoga techniques and as you can see I'm trying some downward dog and sun, sun salutation with differing effects, but uh, like I said, I keep on trying to find the inner peace that I am trying so hard to find, not just by doing exercise and doing these yoga movements, but also by choosing living in a van and traveling around the world, or Europe in my case. Remember, that's the whole point of uh, me trying something new, quitting my job, um, living in a small space, traveling around, exploring. It all boils down to, you know, finding that inner peace. Now, because I've been living in a small van with not a lot of uh, headroom and driving a lot, I've noticed that my back has been hurting uh, quite a lot recently. So I've discovered this uh, exercise online and I've been doing it for a while now and I think with some really good results. It's just called dead hangs and basically all you do instead of a pull up you just hang from a bar preferably at the gym or as you can see over here and um, you just hang and in the 
beginning you can just hang for like 10 seconds and then your grip already loosens but you know you build up your strength and it elongates your spine it readjusts and realigns your spine so in that respect it's a really really good exercise for your back especially if you're sitting at an office desk or if you're sitting driving a lot like I do or like I do crunched crunched a lot uh, in my van because of my uh, lack of headroom I am doing everything in a sitting position and uh, this exercise seems to be doing a whole lot of good so it's a perfect rounder a perfect finisher even that's it that's all done let's do this all over again tomorrow